Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. Breaking news. It's happening now in your world today. Man punches Snooky joins army. Because why not? Because that's the only thing you can do. Exactly. <laughs> Punch a little Argentinian bitch and then join the army. LittleArgentinianBitch.com. Yes, probably. What? Is she Argentinian? She's not Italian. Make that up. No, she's from she's from some one of those South American countries. <laughs> so you just took a wild stab as to which South American country I, she's from. I didn't. She's. I'm. I'm fairly sure she's not Brazilian, and I didn't want to say Venezuelan. Why? Why didn't you want to say Venezuelan? I just didn't. I just don't. I don't like it. I don't like saying it. Okay. I think they should change the name. Should they? I don't know. Venezuela? Yes, and I don't know how they. I don't know how to pronounce. I don't know what you call someone from Paraguay or Uruguay. Um, I don't think that it matters because those people aren't real. Oh, and they eat gerbils or hamsters or one of those little rodents. Well, yeah. Those things are delicious. This is awesome. Okay, wait. This is this is awesome. Okay, so the guy that punched Snooky in the face and that everyone should punch Snooky in the face. I mean, just take turns. Yeah, I mean that's all she deserves. Um, she doesn't even deserve like rape. She just deserves to get punched in the face. Rape's too good for her. Um, <laughs> yeah, I just went there. <laughs> Rapes too good for her. Uh, wow. <laughs> so the guy that punched her in the face is named Brad Farrow. So Brad uh, here is just is joining the army. His dad. I don't know why they were talking. I don't know why Fox News. Because yes, this is a Fox News story. I don't know why Fox News was talking to his dad. Because why not? They're Fox. What else are they gonna do? But this is this is his quote. Oh, excuse me. Fox News is quoting the New York Post. The New York Post was talking to his dad. <laughs> Why was the New York? I like that Fox News can't even do their own uh, <laughs> shitty reporting. Yeah, just fucking. No, uh, just uh, what did they write about? All right, we'll read that. Yeah, let's just fucking. Hey, I read it in the paper. Let's just type it up. Which is essentially what we're doing. But yeah, but we're shitty internet radio assholes. We're allowed to. <laughs> uh, anyway, not, we're not the news. We're not saying we're fair and balanced. We're saying we're assholes and we hate you. Exactly. So essentially, we are saying we are just like Fox. Exactly. Um. So. Except for House, that's awesome. Well, that's not that's not that the different Fox different. Oh, I know. Let's be fair. But I just I didn't want to generalize. <laughs> That. Continue. So Pharaoh's dad said, quote, My son made them famous. They made a lot of money off of him, and I think they owe him. <laughs> that has to be one of the most beautifully arrogant things I've ever read someone say. <laughs> they should be glad my son punched a woman in the face. They should be glad my son punched one of their friends in the face. Jesus. <laughs> He's he, awful. He was doing them a favor. Fuck. That's, uh... And what's really beautiful is he's kind of not wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's, I completely agree with him, but <laughs> I shouldn't, I would never have said that. <laughs> Oh, shit, so... <laughs> like, I could talk about Punch and Snooky all I want, because nobody I know has punched Snooky. Yet. <clears throat> Yet. Mm -hmm. Very true. I have plans. You get me in fucking... You get me to Jersey, and I'll punch her in the face. She's not from Jersey. She's not from Jersey, and they're not in Jersey. I think we talked about this. That's right, we did. I couldn't remember if this was on the show that existed or the show that didn't exist. Yeah, no, I, I'm pretty sure we, we've covered this ground. Right, words in Miami, that's right, okay. Yes. So, I like this. Pharaoh, Brad here, Pharaoh made head, Pharaoh, 
like Pharaoh from Egypt. Never mind, it's spelled different. Um, I just made that connection, though. Now I'm just imagining him in an Egyptian headdress, punching Snooki in the face. I, I would so do that. Because I have a very active imagination. <laughs> I need to find an Egyptian headdress now. Dude, I can, I can get you one. I don't care. I'm not really going to do it. <laughs> you totally should. And then just, we'll get t-shirts made up for the, the show, and you can just wear the shirt while you punch her in the face. Exactly. There you go. And then we'll be doing them a favor by making them more famous. And by proxy, us more famous. Yeah, well, shh. That, that's, oh, I, I am a whore. That, Are you kidding? That's the secret part of the plan. No, it isn't. <laughs> <laughs> Pharaoh made headline news after feuding with Nicole... Snooky Pulizzi over drinks at a Jersey Shore bar, ending the fight with a blow to the reality star's face. Uh nice. Wow. I'm glad. I'm glad he he punched her. He, that was like a genuine reaction, and you don't see that on MTV. Yeah. Everyone, I know everyone was all up in arms, like, oh, he punched a woman in the face. No, he didn't. She's he barely a woman. Snooky in the face. Right. She's barely a woman. It's not so much that she's barely a woman. I'm ashamed to call her a human. <laughs> she's more of a sea urchin of some sort. She's like a whore witch that should just fucking die. In a fire? Really die in a fire? No, not in a fire. Oh. I, I don't want to smell that. Okay. Just burnt hair and hairspray and gel. No. And bumpets, just burning bumpets, just have to taste, just smell terrible. I, I don't, I, I don't want to know what spray tan smells like when it's burning. <laughs> or do you? No, I don't. I, I promise you, I don't. <laughs> oh, gross. The story goes on. Pharaoh, twenty-five, was fired from his job as a dip, gym teacher at North Queens Community High School after the episode aired in December, and has had trouble finding work since. I like that he's a gym teacher, which means he has to be tolerant to stupid, stupid people. Yes. And that bitch pissed him off. Yes. <laughs> you you really had to try to piss him off. <laughs> you had to work at it, actually. Or you just had to be snooky. Either way. His dad goes on. I don't, like, I don't even want to refer to the guy's real name. It's just his dad. It's this guy's dad. <laughs> this kid has never been in any trouble, ever. Why do I not believe that? Um, oh, yeah. oh, it's his stupid father saying that. My son is an angel. He's a gym teacher. How much of a good guy could he really be? Uh, yeah, so all gym teachers are just sadomasochists that want to punish children by making them do pull-ups. And goodbye, gym teacher audience. Uh, <laughs> oh, good. I missed those people. <laughs> Fuck you. Actually, no, we're running the mile today. Why? I have a friend that's a gym teacher. Do you? Fucking, yeah. I, I don't care about your stupid friend. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it made me laugh, though. <clears throat> he goes on. Thanks to MTV, he got fired. Every yep. other option he would have had got cut off. He still has college loans. Really? Does he? <laughs> Those seven years of college to be a gym teacher, they add up. Yeah, they so do. Oh, God. How is he ever going to pay those back now? That man should have a statue. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This, this is the really depressing part. Out of career options, Pharaoh decided to join the military as a cavalry, cavalry scout, where his misdemeanor conviction wouldn't hold him back. <laughs> oh, no. Really? Really? Fuck it, we'll take criminals in our army. Fuck it, why not? That's a great idea. <laughs> I know. I, that's what I've said. We should just empty prisons, like, just really violent offenders... Just put them in the army, like when we like when we have to be in other countries, not here, because they'll start shooting like Americans, and we're white, so we matter. But like, yeah. just send them to brown people countries, and they can just go nuts. Okay, <laughs> I uh, this is worse than your Nazi retard thing. 
Uh, I don't want us to invade any other countries. I don't think we should. You know that. But I'm just saying, if we have to, if we're going to, just let murderers loose. Fuck it. That's what they are anyway. Exactly. Yeah. And here's you'd essentially, you'd be letting them do what they love. Exactly. And they are obviously really good at it. You don't even have to give them guns or anything. Clearly, they have. You might give them a gun, but like serial killer, they could fuck so much shit up. Oh, they definitely. We have insane motherfuckers over here. We should have just given Timothy McVeigh bombs and and a list of addresses. Well, he hated the government, so that wouldn't have worked so much, and he was an ex-soldier. But yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> We don't have to tell him who he's actually bombing. We should just tell him that all these people are puppets of the American government. Exactly. Oh, shit. Fuck. <laughs> His dad finishes by telling the Post. I love how it's just like, told the Post, told the Post. <laughs> he lost his career and his pride and everything else. But he's getting it back. You can't keep a good man down for too long. He did punch a woman in the face. <laughs> no, he punched a Snooky in the face. 